Nuclear explosion is a result of rapid release of energy from an intentionally high acceleration. Atmospheric nuclear explosions usually tend to form mushroom clouds, although these clouds can occur with large chemical explosions that tend to have alpha particles, beta particles, or gamma. Nuclear explosions cause significant destruction within seconds or minutes of a nuclear detonation and can inflict damages over an extended period ranging from hours to centuries. This can also cause adverse effects to a location very distant from the site. Alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons bound together into a particle identical to a hel helium nucleus. Alpha particles are emitted by radioactive nuclei such as uranium or radium in a process known as alpha decay. This sometimes leaves the nucleus in an excited state with the emission of a gamma ray removing the excess energy. In contrast to beta ray, alpha decay is meditated by a strong nuclear force. Alpha particles do not have enough energy to escape the potential of the nucleus. The, al the energy of alpha particles varies, with higher energy alpha particles being emitted from large nuclei, but most alpha particles have energies of between 3 and 7 MeV. Because alpha particles occur naturally, but can have high enough to participate in a nuclear reaction, study of them led to much early knowledge of nuclear physics. Beta particles are high energy, high speed electrons or po positrons emitted by certain types of radioactive nuclei. The production of beta particles is termed beta decay. There are two forms of beta decay, beta negative and beta positive. Beta particles can be used to treat health conditions such as eye and bone cancer. Gamma ray is a form of electromagnetic radiation. They are generally characterized as an electromagnetic radiation having the highest frequency and energy and also the shortest wavelength. Gamma rays consist of high energy photons that have no electric charge and no rest mass. Gamma rays are often used for medical purposes such as x-rays, CT scans, and radiation therapy. However, if used as a form of ionization radiation, it has the ability to cause cancer when DNA is affected. If exposed to a high cumulative dose, it can cause death from leukemia, lung liver, and skeletal and other solid cancers.